Alright, Cameron here from Mini Visuals, back with another video. Now today I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my slam edits in Photoshop. If you guys want to see some examples of my work of some of the slam stance edits I've done, um, in Forza or just other games, I'll put some of them on the screen right now. Um, but anyhow, I've had a lot of people asking me how do you do this, what do you use to do it, and you can't really explain it in a text message or in the YouTube comment section, um, so I figured I might as well just make a video on it, and I can share this around. For anybody who asks me the question, I can just give them the link to this video. And if you want to know how to do this, stick around and I'll show you guys how in this video. Alright, for this example, I chose a side shot, um, because side shots are the easiest way of easiest way to how to learn how to do this um now one stupid thing i did do though was i chose a picture with reflections um now as good as the reflections look right now like it looks amazing the reflections look really cool um but i'm gonna have to edit the reflections as well to have the wheels um so that's one thing that's gonna be a little bit annoying but um usually there won't be any reflection so i'm not gonna the, the reflections part won't be part of what you have to do um i'd advise if you're just starting out with photoshop you don't really know how you don't really have any experience with this um i'd advise you to just do a regular picture not right in front of a puddle um, anyhow, the first thing you're going to want to do is before you go on and take the picture, if you're just starting out, I'd advise you to um, start with a side shot because it's really easy. Um, but also to go online and find the picture you want first. Um, now, I didn't do that, so I'm going to just have to use this picture. Um, now, I probably could have found a better picture, but I wanted to use these wheels. Um, so, first thing I want to do is flip canvas horizontal so that it's facing the same way as the car. Um, now, optimally, you would want to find a better picture. Um, some good websites you can use are stancenation.com. Um, now, the only thing I don't like about stancenation.com sometimes is that since now everybody's been trying to do stance edits and um, almost everybody starts going there. So then you'll, let's say you do an edit and they'll find out somebody else has already, like four people have used this, um, have already used the wheels. Like there was this one white S15 on that website and almost, I've seen like five different um, edits at least with those wheels. Um, so one time, sometimes I just try not to use Stance Nation because um, I want it to be a little bit different. But starting out, Stance Nation has some really high quality wheels and it's easy to find wheels on there. Um, Alright, so we're going to start out. So the first thing you want to do is you want to get the polygonal lasso tool, at, tool out. Then you wanna, you're going to want to select the wheels. Um, I'm just going to speed this up so it's not doesn't take any long. doesn't take very long. But you're going to want to select the wheels and the tire. Alright, now once you got it selected, you're going to press Ctrl C to copy it. And you're going to go and press Ctrl V over here to paste it into this, um, into this image. All right, now you're gonna press Control T to scale it, and you're basically gonna want to scale it over this wheel. Um, now depending like what size the wheels are, let's say it's a really small wheel, um, you can make the wheel either smaller. Let's say you want to do like a small wheel edit, um, let's say like a small wheel 180 SX or something like that. Then you could make the wheel smaller, and then you could just slam the car down. Um, but for here we're gonna want to just scale. I'm gonna just scale scale the wheel to the same size as this wheel. Um, now usually you could add stance and stuff like that to the wheel. Um, here there's not really any stance or anything to add because it's a, because the picture is, um, the picture is just from a side profile, there's not really stance to add. Um, this is really just like a basic tutorial for people who are just starting out with this thing. Um, but if you guys do want a more advanced tutorial, um, different angles and stuff like that, um, let me know and I'll, let me know down in the comments and I'll make sure to make one for you guys. Um, now we're just gonna do the same thing we did with that front wheel and the back wheel here. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this and speed it up just like I did before. Um, okay, so now I got it pasted on. This is pretty much it. Um, now this angle, I don't know something about this. It's not exactly perfect. Like it's not a perfect side angle. Um, I've done better ones, better side angles, but I think you guys can get the point. And I don't think it's bad. Um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna lower the car. So I'm gonna bring the height of the car down because although it's not bad, it's not stanced or anything. Um, I want the car to be more of like a fender to lip fitment type thing. Um, so I'm gonna hide the wheels. Then we're gonna go use the polygon lasso tool. And this could be useful even if you're not um, doing a stance edit, like just how to lower cars in Photoshop. And you're basically just wanting, you're gonna use this um, polygon lasso tool to select around the body of the car, like I'm doing. Um, I don't have to be super, super, super specific with this. Now I wouldn't say to rush through it because um, little mis like if you make a few big mistakes, it's gonna show. But there's little room, for, there's room for little errors. Although with these fender to lip edits, you want to be kind of as precise as you can around this little area around the fender area because let's say that you have you select too much then it's going to be clipping over onto the wheel and it's going to be able to tell you're going to be able to tell that it's edited 
um, even when you do do these edits, you're going to be able to tell, obviously, that it's edited anyway, because if it's a wheel that's not in the game or whatever, but you're going to want to try to make your edits so clean as, as clean as possible, which is what I'm going to try to show you guys in this video. I'm now going to speed the rest of it up, because I think this is pretty self-explanatory. Okay, now that I have the body selected, I'm going to want to go um, around the top of the picture. So we're going to gonna go up here and just around like this. Now that we got that selected, we're going to make our wheels visible again. Um, now we're just going to bring and we're going to click on background layer. Um, make sure that move is selected, move tool selected. And we're just going to use the arrow keys and just click down. All right, now I think that's pretty good. Now I'm just going to erase the wheel part. So what you can do is just select on the layer that the Photoshop wheel is on. Um, so for us, that's layer one. And then we're just going to click delete. And layer two, which is the back wheel. And then just press delete. Um, and there you go. Mine was really simple. So now we're, now what we're going to want to do is just fill in these parts. Like let's say right, let's see right here. You have this white. And also just even the ground showing underneath. You don't want that. Um, it just looks lower and it just looks more complete um, when you fill that in. So we're going to do that right now. So you're going to use your polygon lasso tool like this. Um, you're going to want to just go like that. Now, I started coloring it all the way black. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. But just to make it even, if you really want to just be precise, really, really precise, you can select that color, which is pretty much black anyway. Um, select the background layer. Use the brush tool. Make sure it's at 100%. The size doesn't matter as long as you fill in the whole area. And then just boom. Um, now, if you compare that, this, left, this right side that's colored into the left side, I think it looks better, so we're going to go ahead and do this on the left side as well. Alright, there you go. So, uh, I think you guys can see where this thing is going. But, in my opinion, the front, when it's filled in, looks a lot better than the back with just, like, the gaps and stuff. Um, so, we're going to go fix the gap. We're going to go fix the back right now. All right, so we got it. Um, we're almost done here. It's really not too much that we're gonna be doing. Um, but the next thing you're gonna want to do here is you're gonna want to come, like right here. Let's see how the tire is kind of like weird, like the shape of it is kind of weird on the bottom. Um, what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to go here. You're gonna want to hide the layer of the photoshopped wheel, and you're gonna want to come here at, at the non-edited wheel and just select the border of this wheel, kind of like there. And then make this layer visible again and they're just going to delete it um so that the shape is good on that wheel so that's fixed and let's just check the front wheel okay the front wheel looks fine so we're not going to mess with it um now to, make, to help the brightness blend in i'm not going to lie the brightness on this one isn't bad or whatever um but just to help it blend in a little bit more you're going to want to go here and you're going to want to do auto tone which is going to automatically match it um to the color of your game and like the brightness and all that type of stuff but i still do auto contrast auto color all three tabs pretty much all the time i almost do the same things on the back wheel all right um now another thing i want to do is just go here and do brightness slash contrast auto um now this mat this is this really depends on what image do the base image you use is like but what you don't want to have is this said this the side angle is really easy you know what? This is for more advanced photoshops. Um, so I'm just going to leave this part out of this edit. Because this edit's already fine in my opinion. So we're just going to do this adjustments thing. Just to make it a little bit more refined. Um, now even before I did this auto brightness, auto curves, auto levels. It was fine. I just like to do this stuff just to be sure. Now you don't have to always do this. Or if you're using like a photoshop alternative. Like Jimp that I know a lot of people use. Um, that's fine too. You don't have to do all this stuff. But auto tone and um, auto tone, auto contrast, and auto color are all really useful stuff that you should use on your wheel edits. Um, all right, so there you go. Um, now we're done pretty much. Um, we have the wheels edited in. It looks pretty good in my opinion. Um, now the next thing we're gonna want to do is just let me just check this over real quick. All right. So now one thing while already in Photoshop, some stuff I like to do just to add my little special sauce and maybe like simple stuff like adding a side skirt, um, deset tinting the headlights. I like tinting this the parts of the headlight. I'm not gonna do anything too crazy. I'm just gonna do some little small stuff like right here. I want to get rid of the amber, so I don't have to be super selective on it. Since there's only one part of orange here, I don't have to be super precise. It doesn't matter. Then I go to image adjustments, hue saturation, 
um select the select this this will be under reds I guess and then just select this color and saturate it to zero and lightness to 50 and then boom just remove the amber I'm just small stuff like that that I think looks nice and that's really it I'm not gonna do too I'm not gonna do too much more on it um now I will fix like the reflection because the wheels are different in the reflection um but usually you wouldn't have to do this so usually this would be this would pretty much be your final product um so that's how to slam your car in photoshop i'm gonna fix the reflections later on but i'm not gonna make the video longer for you guys um but there you go that's how you um do it in photoshop actually you know i will go ahead and um do those wheels because it's kind of bugging me all right i'm um, not finished doing like the little wheel edit um on the reflections now it's not perfect or anything don't get me wrong um i think it gets the job done i think it's all right um it could have been better but i'm just gonna advise you guys i'm gonna advise you guys to not use a picture of reflections if it's your first time doing this um i it was my mistake by doing this um but i think it looks good now you can edit it in um, lightroom which i'll do right now and it, it makes the picture look a lot better um so that's just one way to enhance your pictures like an app, but that's any picture not even just stance edits um editing your pictures makes them look a lot better um but that was uh, i think a simple easy to follow tutorial at least i hope so actually i just realized something i made i messed up on right here on um, this light this one little space of light i'm happy i noticed this before i exported the picture um but yeah so that was this is a pretty simple tutorial um i'm not perfect but i think it looks really good um if you guys want to see more advanced ones um like different angles maybe even adding like little lip kits and stuff like that um to cars because to be honest forza's little lip kits are not really good let's just be honest with each other here <laughs> let's just be honest with each other on that um but yeah that's gonna conclude this little video so if you guys enjoyed it if you guys want to see more let me know down in the comments um also let me know how i did i'm not the best person with um tutorials and i know at times i can speak fast but i'm working on that um so let me know how i did down in the comments um, but anyhow, that's going to conclude this video. It's Cameron here from Mean Visuals. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one.